This video is going to show you how you can pin websites to your start menu and taskbar in Windows 10 and Windows 11. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video is going to show you how you can pin websites to your start menu and your taskbar at the bottom of the screen very easily in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now to start with, you need to have Microsoft Edge installed. Now this should be installed on your system if it's fully up to date. Now if you've just installed Windows 10 and it's an early version of Windows 10, then you might not have it. So you might need to go into settings and update the system. Once the system's fully up to date, you should see Microsoft Edge. That's this logo just over here on the left on your desktop. OK, so as you can see, I've got rid of those icons now. So I'm going to show you how you can get them back. So let's just do that. Let's go into Microsoft Edge. So once you're into Microsoft Edge, go to the website that you want to pin to your taskbar or your start menu or both. So in this instance, I'm going to go to, say, Yahoo and let's go to Yahoo Mail. So what I'm going to do is I've gone to yahoo.co.uk. I'm going to go to Mail and that should take us to the sign in page for Yahoo Mail. Now, if I want to pin this to the taskbar at the bottom of the screen, all I need to do is go up to the three horizontal dots in the top right hand corner of Edge's window, left click once and then go down to more tools. Move your mouse over more tools and after a few seconds, a little sub menu should appear just to the left or to the right. And then if you want to pin this to the taskbar, just click on pin to taskbar just down there about the middle way down from that menu that's just appeared. As you'll see, a nice little Yahoo icon appears in the taskbar, which represents the website that I've just added. So let's just come out of Edge by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. And then let's just click on that. And there we go. It takes us directly to the Yahoo Mail sign in page. Now, what if I wanted to pin that to the start menu as well? So as you can see, it's not on there at the moment. All I need to do is again, go into Edge, click on the three dots that are horizontal in the top right hand corner of the screen, go down to more tools and then go to pin to start and left click once on pin to start. And it says here, do you want to pin this tile to start? So click on yes. And then if I click on the start button just down there, now you can't see it here because it's right at the bottom of the start menu. So let's click on the little arrow just on the right there to move down. And there it is. There's the Yahoo icon. Now, if I want to move that to a more prominent position on the start menu, all I need to do is just click and hold the left mouse button over the icon and just move it upwards and just keep going up until we get to the start of the menu. And let's just put it in a more prominent place. So I'm going to put it right at the very start there. Once you've got it in the place that you want it, let go of the left mouse button and there you go, it's pinned. And that basically means if I want to go direct to Yahoo Mail, I can either do it just down there at the bottom there or click on the start button and click on Yahoo just there. And there you go, it takes me to it. Now, what if we wanted to add something like Google? Then again, all we need to do is we need to just go into Microsoft Edge. OK, go to www.google dot com or dot co dot uk depending on where you are okay click on the three horizontal dots in the top right hand corner of the screen go down to more tools move your mouse over more tools and then this menu will come up and then click on either pin to taskbar or pin to start let's pin it to taskbar and there you go as you can see a g's come up now if i want to pin that to the start menu as well again click on the three horizontal dots in the top right hand corner, move your mouse over more tools, wait until the sub menu appears and then click on pin to start. OK, and then it says, do you want to pin this tile to start? Yes. So left click once on yes. Click on the start button. As, as you can see, I won't see it on there at the moment because it's put it right to the bottom. So let's just go down. OK, move your mouse over the icon that you just created, like in my case, Google. Hold down the left mouse button over it and then just move up and Keep going up until you find the space where you want to put it. Once you've found the space, let go of the left mouse button. And there we go. If we want to go to Google now quickly, we can either do it from the taskbar at the bottom of the screen there. There you go. That takes us to Google. If I click on the Y, that takes us to Yahoo Mail. 
or if we want to do it from the start menu there, we can do it from that, clicking on that. There you go. There's Google and there's Yahoo. Now, there's also there's another little option just in Microsoft Edge. So let's just go back into it. And that allows you to set up some preset taskbar icons. So again, three dots in the top right hand corner. Go down to more tools, move your mouse over it and then go across to launch taskbar pinning wizard. And it's just generating some suggestions there. So there we go. Here's uh, some suggestions that it said. So in my case, it's got BBC, Amazon. So we can just tick the boxes just to the right of the icons that we want. And there we go. As you can see, they're being added to the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. So let's just go continue. And uh, we've got other popular websites here. We can scroll up and down. Uh, none of them really interest me. So I'm just going to click continue. And there we go. It tells you how to pin more sites if you want to. So there we are. All these icons are now in the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. And one click on them takes us directly to the website. And that is really, really handy. Now, what if you want to get rid of any of these icons? Now, all you do is just move your mouse over any of the icons, click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. If you do the left, it'll open up the site. So if the site opens when you click on it, you've clicked the wrong mouse button, click the other one. OK, and then what you need to do is this sub menu will come up once you've clicked the right mouse button and then just click unpin from taskbar. And there you go. That disappears. Let's try it again on the Google one. Unpin, unpin from taskbar. Right click on this one. Let's just do them all, shall we? So as you, you get the idea now right click and then unpin from taskbar. Now, what about on the start menu? So let's click on the start button there. Go up to the ones we pinned earlier. Again, same rules apply. Click on the right mouse button and then click unpin from start. If you've clicked on it and it opens up, then you've clicked the wrong mouse button. Click the other mouse button. So again, right click and then left click unpin from start. So there you go. That is a great, easy way to pin shortcuts on your start button or on your taskbar in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Allows you to get to your websites much faster than ever before. I hope you like this video. And if you did, why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you like this video. And if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then please don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CW Tech and my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thanks for watching.